Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Um, earlier today I made lunch in my Speedy and I'm trying to get that cleaned up. And I was trying to get that all cleaned and see if I could take apart certain parts to get it a little bit cleaner. Then I remembered the other day when my husband was making the chicken in the Ninja um, XL. I remember looking up and I remember seeing, wow, that's really dirty. So I'm going to show you how I clean this filter. Um, this is all over the internet. I'm sure you've seen it before. I'll bring it down here and show you what I do. And it works very well. So let me go over my sink here. And I just use some Easy Off. And I spray like around the edges and stuff really good. always wash your hands afterwards because you don't need that oven cleaner on your hands and I spray both sides really well I'm trying to use the rest of this so I'm not throwing just a little bit of oven cleaner back down underneath my sink I think that's about it so then what you do is you open up a gallon zipper bag and then you set that and you put that in there and as you can see let me get this stuff off my hands real quick before I start to burn my fingers rinse it out of my sink too all right and as you can see already that you know, I try to do this, I try to clean this out probably every second or third time that I use this. I should actually pull it out like every time I use it, but I get lazy. But you can see how much has already come off this. I let this set for a good couple hours. Then what I'm going to do is I'll scrub this and I'll be putting this in the dishwasher. But I'll bring it back once this is done in a couple hours and show you what I do. You guys see how much that all got dirty in there. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of the bag. <clears throat> it's been a couple hours. And yes, my fingers stung from actually doing that. But I mean, you can see how much stuff is just left in the bag. It's kind of crazy. So I just take like a brush and I'm going to go ahead and go around this whole thing. I mean, just even that. Not even doing the other side yet. It's amazing. I mean, I love an air fryer. It's amazing how dirty these, these grapes get. And it doesn't take really that much to keep them up and you wouldn't have to actually put a, the, um, the oven cleaner on there if you'd actually keep them up like I'm supposed to. I asked my husband if he would help, you know, because he uses it a lot for his chicken wings, if I didn't happen to do it, it you know, because he helped keep it up and stuff, so we made an agreement that we would do that better, and that goes with wiping the whole inside, I cleaned out as good as I could on a break, I cleaned out the inside of the XL, and just always try to make sure you keep those all wiped out. Yeah, because that could actually become quite the fat fire hazard. I see a lot of them online that I don't know how it just doesn't smoke like crazy. But as you can see, there's still a little bit of scrubbing to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'll be putting this in the dishwasher tonight. But um, you can see, I mean, that really helps keep you know, a lot of that clean. I still have to go around the edge a little bit. But that really helps keep that clean. And then cleaning the inside of the ninja helps so it's not going to actually do the tons of smoke and um, maybe even cause fire or whatever have you. So thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.